This is an extract from the Leader podcast by The Evening Standard, hosted by me, David Marsland. To hear the whole thing, search for us on your podcast provider. Can you go to Portugal and the Greek islands without having to self-isolate or not? Well, it rather depends on which bit of the UK you're listening to this podcast from. Even the transport secretary is admitting it's confusing when England says it's fine, but Scotland doesn't. Meanwhile, as passengers just give up and cancel holidays, the travel industry is suffering. Virgin Airlines just announced 1,150 job losses. The travel journalist Simon Calder is normally jetting around the world at this time of year, but he's as grounded as everyone else and joins me from Swindon Railway Station. Simon, it's a bit like the setup of a joke, isn't it? A Scotsman, an Englishman, a Welshman and a Northern Irishman all land at Heathrow from Madeira. Which one has to self-isolate? Well, of course, until last night, the rule would have been exactly the same for everybody. But then we saw the entire quarantine project disintegrating. And basically, the UK, or England at least, um, wanted Portugal not to be put on the no-go list. Uh, Wales and Scotland, looking at the same data, said, yes, it's got to go on the no-go list. They even came up with two different versions of the, the same policy. One of them, um, Scotland, including the whole of Portugal and uh, Wales, saying we, we know that the uh, islands, Madeira and the Azores, are OK. Um, and the whole shambles means that you've got a flight coming in from Madeira. And if you're uh, Scottish, um, you're going to have to try and get to um, Scotland by 4 a.m. If you're Welsh, you're going to be fine as long as the plane didn't stop to refuel in Lisbon and somebody got on. Um, If you're English and Northern Irish, you go and do whatever you want to do. And this is clearly not sustainable for any length of time. Although the travel industry has deplored this astonishing state of affairs, which is turning the UK into even more of a laughing stock from uh, th- than it was before. Um, it will actually hasten the demise of the whole quarantine project. It is simply unsustainable. And I think that um, by this time next week, I predict, and I've got a number of things wrong, but I predict that miraculously the government will come up with something which says, oh, actually, yeah, blanket quarantine, no alternative to um, 14 days of self-isolation. Well, actually, we've just found one. And... Uh, we, we will see what happens, but at the moment, the travel industry is, is in utter, utter horror at the complete disarray that we're seeing. How do airlines, how do airports handle all of this? Because they'll have to deal with passengers in separate ways, and that's just going to add to their workload at a time when things are complicated enough. Well, actually, it's not that much, there's no complication for the airport because it's down to you to work out, um, oh, okay, I'm arriving on Air Portugal from Lisbon. I'm an English person, so I'm all right. Oh, no, I'm a Welsh person, so I've got to go home and stay indoors for two weeks. Or I'm a Scottish person and I've got till 4 a.m. on Saturday. So the airports aren't going to have to do anything. It's just they're going to be even emptier than they are at the moment because people will be saying, I've got exactly no interest in uh, having a system where from... Almost minute to minute, the rules can change and that is going to cause me a great deal of upset and inconvenience. And we can see the impact that the problems across the travel industry are having once again today with Virgin announcing another load of job losses. Uh, Yes, and um, the, the mantra which has been coming from both central government and from Scotland, which is that Um, nothing means nothing is as important as getting the number of cases down. I think we are going to see that actually change. And when you have very strongly um, conservative supporting newspapers with front page stories saying that 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 the the travel industry is being destroyed, I think um, even the people who are kind of running the show are going to start thinking, oh, travel, yeah, um, used to be the best uh, successful travel industry in the world. It looks a bit of a mess now, um, and tens of thousands of people have lost their jobs, and uh, we've stopped millions of people going on holiday. Was that a good thing to do? Maybe we should change the plan. And obviously every day that that doesn't happen, more and more of this great industry is being destroyed and more jobs are being lost, but uh, that's the choice that the government has made up to now. 